they always said I'm wrong But what they doing today? I think they want me gone But I ain't going away They told me I was wrong But look at my ass what up guys, Denton Day here from the Wheel Sports Talk and today we're going to be talking about uh, Monday Night Raw. This isn't going to be the normal Raw recap that I usually do. Uh, this is going to be a little something different and as you can tell by the title, Monday Night Raw is too damn long. It's three hours, it's been like that for about six or so weeks ever since July 23rd of Raw 1000 and it was cool like the first two or three times and then since then it's gone a little out of control three hours is a ridiculous amount of time to sit there and watch WWE now personally I don't quite mind it but uh, it, uh, I know other people do. I mean, you know, you got work, school starting back up, especially for WWE when their main target focus is for the kids um, and mostly like the younger kids, like the middle school, elementary school kids who have to be in bed and wake up for school early in the morning. Uh, they can't be staying up to 11 uh, at night. And uh, of course, it always goes a little overboard. It'll go five, ten minutes overboard. So about eleven oh five, eleven ten ish, they can't be doing that when they start watching at eight. Now I know some kids do, uh, but it's not necessarily the best because they need their sleep to function correctly and all that stuff. But that's really besides the point. That doesn't bother me as much because I'm in high school, and I can pretty much stay up, uh, pretty much as late as I want and wake up at a reasonable time and still function. But one of the reasons it's not good is well I mean obviously it's too long but it's just not as entertaining anymore they have so much filler things and they're focusing on stuff that doesn't matter some of the angles that they're doing really have no point at all they'll put it on during Raw but they never end up continuing it and they never put it in the pay-per-views like the for example the Brodish Clay and Damian Sandow little angle uh, we saw Sandow attack Brodus Clay multiple times but they never made it to SummerSlam and they definitely won't make it on Night of Champions so that pretty much was a waste I mean they had something going with it but they ne were never uh, they were never able to correctly put it into a pay-per-view like they should have and people may say oh well they did this to better their ratings or any of that crap and that's not why they did it the, there, it's pretty obvious why they made Monday Night Raw three hours. It's for the money. And if you can't see that, uh, you should probably open your eyes up a little bit more. Uh, for three hours, they average about four million viewers. That's not bad, but pretty much this whole year, their ratings haven't been very good. But so you have four million people watching it for three hours. And with the extra hour, the advertisements come on a little bit more. So there's more commercials and more advertisements and for three hours four million people watching all those advertisements makes WWE a whole lot more money than when it's just two hours with the same amount of people watching the advertisements if that makes sense at all so they get an hour's worth of more money pretty much for the four million viewers that tune in to watch it and people I think are starting to realize that and they realize that they can't stay up as late and they don't want to sit there for three hours and watch the product and pretty much the main reason that is the problem is well now obviously the ratings are going to drop a lot more uh, Monday Night Football started back up again there there's no way they get the same ratings as Monday Night Football Monday Night Football averages like 11 million people watching WWE gets three so just then they're losing a million viewers pretty much now I mean these stats aren't completely accurate but I'm just uh, like guesstimating I guess you could say so they're losing uh, people and money to Monday Night Football and the biggest reason why I personally don't like this three-hour switch anymore it doesn't leave at least for me and probably a lot of other people out there it doesn't leave you wanting more when there was two hours of Monday Night Raw at the end there'd always be something big and you'd be like Oh, I want to see what happens next. So you'd have to tune in next the next week. Uh, but now, 
there, it comes to a point where the opening segment for me, because I live on the East Coast, is at 8, and the closing thing is at 11, or 11.10, around that time frame. So, come 11.10, I've been watching for three hours already, and I don't really remember what happened in the opening segment. But when it started at 9, and it got to 11.10, I still could remember what was going on, uh, pretty much in detail. And they don't really have that anymore. Now, on Monday Night Raw last night, we did see a little bit of something that kinda left you wanting more, which was Paul Heyman sticking his head out the car window when CM Punk drove away. But it's not as much as it used to be. Uh, for example, take back to 2009 when Randy Orton punted Vince McMahon in the head. Everybody was wanting more. Or even last year, after CM Punk's uh, big shoot promo, uh, the I'm leaving and all that, we all remember that, people wanted to know what happened next. But now, they don't have that as much. I don't know if the content is wearing down, which it kind of is, but it's just more they don't watch the whole thing. And for WWE, that's not good. So I don't know whose idea it was, if it was Vince McMahon's, if it was Triple H's, if it was the creative team. Whoever's idea it was, they need to call a meeting and they need to fix this. Because if they keep Raw at three hours, uh, it's pretty much, it could just completely tank WWE as a whole. Because they were soon to be launching the WWE Network, which has been pushed back like, I don't even know how many times. But at this point, it looks like the WWE Network is not going to be as good as Vince McMahon hopes because it's probably going to be ridiculously overpriced for shows that people don't even want to watch. So that itself is probably going to tank as well. And then people just aren't going to watch WWE anymore. So then the ratings for Raw are going to tank. And then by that time, it'll probably be too late. So if they don't switch this back to two hours in the near future before the WWE uh, Network launches, WWE and Vince McMahon, Triple H, and all the board of directors and CEOs and broadcast team and whatever are going to be in a little bit of trouble and may see TNA overtake them. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen because, let's be honest, TNA, their ratings aren't too hot either, but it you never know what could happen if they keep some stupid like this three hours up. So thank you guys for watching. Feel free to comment on what you think of the three-hour ridiculous Monday Night Raw down below. Uh, like us on Facebook at The Real Sports Talk and follow us on Twitter, uh, and I will see you guys later. Just a little bit around the corner from fear. Be there by next year when I'm gone.